and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be learning how to make the minimalist elegant Lunarius, also sometimes known as the silver dollar plant. I love it for its unique look and they are perfect for abstract cake designs like this. They are easy to make and look so effortlessly elegant. The best part, you don't even need a lot of tools for it. So once they're ready, let's begin. Before we begin, let's go through the tools and materials we'll need for our Lunarius. So firstly, we'll need our colour palette to store our colours. Some floral tape for us to tie in the branches like this later on. Craft scissors. A pair of wire plier for us to trim our wire. Some tweezers. And for the colours itself, I'll be using cream from Sugar Flare. I have some silver dust here to give me some shimmery look to my Lunarius. Um, some shortening cornstarch in a cornstarch bag just in case our wafer paper gets too moist and I want to dry it out a little bit. So I have some wafer paper glue. And for my liquid, I'm using vodka to dilute my gel colours into a paintable consistency. So if you're wondering what liquid you should be using, you can go ahead and refer to this table over here. And for our wires, we'll be using two sizes. One will be the 30 gauge wire, which is a really, really flimsy one. And we'll be using a 20 gauge wire, which is a way thicker one. So you can see the difference here on my palm. So the thicker one will be used to create our branches that you see over here. And the thinner one will be to create the individual leaves of a lunaria. I'm using white because then I can dust it into any colours you want and for Lunaria, they're usually generally pretty white or yellowish so these are good colours to start with instead of using the green ones. Uh, some paper towels for us to just swatch our colours and for the wafer paper, I'm using a old grid which measures about 0.22mm thick. If you're unsure about wafer paper thickness, there is a link in the description box below where you can read up more on it. And then lastly, we have some brushes for us to work on our colours. So for our wafer paper painting, I usually go with brushes that are soft and has a shorter bristle. So this allows for better liquid control. And then I have a brush for my wafer paper glue. This is for us to stick our Lunarius. <coughs> and lastly, I have an even shorter bristle brush for me to dust my stem. And with that, we are ready to begin. If you're wondering how Lunaria looks like, it looks something like that. So it's basically made out of like a white branch with all these little leaves going around and they are often called the silver dollar plants as well. So you can see how these little leaves look like coins and it has this shimmery tone. So we're gonna go ahead and learn how to make this. Okay, let me set this aside. Okay, first we'll need to start off with our wafer paper. So there isn't any template for this Lunaria because I'm going to show you how you can uh, DIY your own and also just decide the size that you want to go with because there's literally no fixed size that you want to go with. Some of your uh, leaves can be smaller and some of them can be bigger and some of them can be more elongated. So there are different sizes and I'm going to show you how to do all of them. Okay, so first starting off with uh, my wire. This is my 30 gauge wire. So generally what I do, uh, what I will get with um, one wire is I'll usually get two uh, silver dollar leaves out of it. So it looks something like that. Here. So this is so this is what we are going to go for. So each of the leaves individually, they look like that. So with one 30 gauge wire, usually I can make two of these leaves. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today. So firstly, what I'm going to do with my 30 gauge wire is I'm going to go ahead and bend and this will determine the shape of the individual uh, leaf that I have for my Lunaria. So you want to go with a size that's slightly bigger than what you want because we're going to do a little pinch on top and it helps to and it will then reduce the size of the plant that we have. So maybe something like that. Just hook it around your hands. And then at this point, I'm going to then do a twist at the bottom. Like that. And then with the twist, I'm just going to go ahead and do a few more rounds to tighten it up. OK, 
Okay, so you don't have to worry if this is the final shape of your plant because you can always readjust it. So what we do here is to create the shape or the rim of the plant and then later on we can just adjust according to the shape that we want before we plant it on our wafer paper. So right now every lunaria leaf has this little guy like popping out on top. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna grab our wire plier and just go ahead and stretch it out into an elongated shape first. Don't worry about that because we can always twist the shape later. And then we're just going to use my hands to pinch it this way. Okay. Once I'm happy with that, I want it to be a really close hook. Not really a hook, but just a little tip kind of popping out from the top. So something like that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my wire here with my plier and then this is where I start to decide the shape that I want my plant to be. So because 30 gauge is really soft, I can go ahead and then reshape it into the shape that I want it to be. So usually silver dollar leaves comes in either a perfect circle like that or they are generally elongated like that in the oval shape. So maybe for this, I'm going to go ahead and work with oval shape and then the next one, I'm going to do a uh, circular one. Okay. Because my wire plier was here, I could create like a nice uh, fold over here which really mimics the entire shape of the lunaria leaves. And then what I'm going to do now is with this wire that I have, you can see that because the stem is so long, the entire leaf use is very flimsy and light. So if you're going for a lunaria branch that has a lot of stems and you want them to look rather floaty and airy you can keep the stem this long uh, generally I don't need it to be this long so maybe somewhere around this is a good gauge so I can then go ahead and trim it with my wire plier here and with that you can see it still creates a very light and airy look to my entire uh, leaf and then with the next one I'm gonna just do maybe a slightly smaller one Me. Similarly, just gonna twist the bottom. And then with my wire plier, I'm going to just pinch the top as well. And then holding it there, I'm then going to open up. And maybe for this guy, I'm gonna do a mini circular one. So you can see the difference in the shape of the two lunaria leaves that I just created. So this is pretty much like a skeleton of the entire leaf. And if I were to hold both at each end, you can see how this one really floats. And this is stiffer. Although they come from the same size, but because this has a longer stem, it allows it to float better. And this one is somewhat a stiffer one. So this is a good example to show you what you want to go with. Okay, and then right now what I'm going to do is I have my wafer paper here. So with the skeleton that I formed, I'm going to go ahead and stick my skeleton down onto my wafer paper this way. And this is what creates the body of our lunaria plant. So I'm going to use my wafer paper glue. And then I am going to then put the glue onto the skeleton of the plant, which is my wire. and then have it face down and stick onto my wafer paper. So I'm going to press it down for a few seconds so that the wafer paper or the wire adheres to the wafer paper. And then from here, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm just going to trim it away so it's easier to work with. So this is one. And then I'm going to work on the second one. So 
So just hold it down for a few seconds. And then grab a pair of scissors and then trim it. Okay, and then I'm going to set this aside. Okay, so if you're working with a lot of different Lunaria leaves here, you can go ahead and make this uh, make a lot of this in one step before we move on to the next one so you get the momentum of working on this as well rather than going from one step to another and then coming back to this step so the next step we're going to do is finally start dust coloring our lunaria plant so if you can take a look at here you can see a very quick difference in terms of the color for both so the one that i have on my hand has this nice yellowy tint to it shimmery and yellowy tint and then for the one that i have over here just purely my wafer paper which is white Okay, so now I'm going to start colouring and for the colours I have my cream because I'm going to go with a yellow tint I do not need a lot of it since I'm going, going for a very very subtle uh, yellow tone so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and only just need a tiny tiny bit of it And I'm going to use my vodka to dilute it. So I need a lot of my vodka because I'm going for a very light colour. Just a tiny bit of my cream. Okay, so I'm going to just swatch my colour to make sure that I get an the color that I want. Okay, so you can see here it's a very very light shade of cream. Okay, and I think I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring on my Lunaria leaves. So tapping away the excess. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to gently paint over both sides. So one and two. And you can see for the lunaria leaves that I've done, they actually have these little stretches of like uh, lines in them. So what I'm gonna do at this point is, since the wafer paper is still wet and it's st quite sticky, I have a bowl of uh, 30 gauge wire that I actually trim them into smaller pieces. So this one will act as the lines inside the plant. So I'm gonna grab my tweezer and I'm gonna start putting them on my leaf. So these lines, if you have noticed, they generally point towards a center point. So just imagine you have your... So don't worry if your wire is not sticking like mine. So it has probably mean that the wafer paper has dried up before we can work on anything. So what I'm going to do here is then I'm just going to put my wafer paper glue on my wire and then I'm going to stick it onto my plant. So maybe I have my glue brush on my left hand and my right hand will have my tweezers holding onto the wire. Just tap it this way. And then I'm going to stick it down. So generally the lines come in a set of two or one and they generally point towards a center point. So you want to make sure that they all point to a center point. So something like a whiskers of a cat. So think of it that way. Uh, then I'm going to continue. Most of the time they have about like three uh, on one end or on one side and they're about like two or three on the other side. All of them can look different so you don't have to really follow an exact way of doing so or you don't really have to follow an exact amount okay so maybe for this I'll have two on one side and then three on the other side you can see they're all pointing towards the center point here okay and I'm gonna work on my next one If you like, you can also go ahead and add the wires before you start colouring. So that the 
the sequence of doing doesn't really matter. Sometimes for a smaller leaf, you can choose to go with shorter wires. So there you go, so that's our little leaf done and now we're ready to remove it from the patch so that it stays as a leaf. So I'm going to grab my pair of scissors and start trimming along the rim of my wire which is a skeleton. Then flip it around. one down and then there's the second one Okay, so right now you can see that our leaves are generally quite flat. Might have some movement because of the colouring that we did just now, but generally it's still quite flat if you take a look at this. So in order to give your lunaria leaves a lot more movement like this guy over here, you can go ahead and grab your brush, go back to the colour that you have just mixed, and then you can just gently paint over on both sides. So what this does is allows the entire wafer paper to soften and with that, you can then go ahead and bend your wire into the shape that you want. So maybe for this guy, I can bend it this way. Okay, so for this guy, I can fold it this way. So something different from what I had before. So we can just explore every shape and size that you can think of. Yeah, and then for this one, after I painted it, I can then just twist it maybe in like a nice, like, like twisted S shape. So then it looks like that. So if you happen to have some like trimmings here that you don't think is very nicely done, uh, for example, like here, you can see this one here is not really neat. You can just grab your brush and put some uh, liquid and just tap it and then it softens it. You can then just press it into the skeleton and it will just form the shape nicely. So you have you can go ahead and do it for the entire thing if you want to just kind of like clean up the trimmings. So same goes for this. Yep, and there you go. And then with that now, we are ready to then add in the shimmery dust shine for our uh, little leaf. So I'm just going to grab my silver dust. So you can use any silver dust that adds a nice shimmer to your leaves. Okay, so I'm just going to use tap it and then hold up my leaf and just go ahead and dust it over the entire leaf. Yeah, so you can see the difference, the one that is dusted with a shimmery dust and one that's not dusted. dust the next one in any case if you are working on like a branch of lunarias that are almost drying uh, you can go ahead you can go ahead and add more of the yellow tints so it represents more of like a dry look where it starts to turn yellow but I'm looking at fresh uh, lunaria plants now so they're generally quite silver just with a very very light tint of yellow 
So once that's done, I'm going to teach you guys how you can tie it into a branch like this. So I'm gonna pull out. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out some of the ones that I've done previously. So they're all here. And in order to make them a branch, I'm gonna go with a thicker stem because all these are really really flimsy. If I were to tie them out, they may not hold it very well together, especially if you want to put it on a cake design. Um, if you want like a long branch, they might not hold well together. So having like a 20 gauge wire, which is the thicker one, acts as a nice structure for all these little flimsy leaves to hold on to. Right. So I'm going to start with pulling out some of my floral tape. Let me just shift this aside. So there are a few ways you can start tying your lunaria. You can start with uh, an empty tip here, as you can see. So it starts with the wire being empty here. Or you can also start your lunaria with... Oops. Or you can start your lunaria with the leaves popping out on top. So those are the two loops. One you have like a rounder top, and one you have like a sharper top. So with all these little differences, it does help to create the entire, um, it does help to make the entire thing look a bit different. So it's more details, but it makes a huge difference. Okay, so for this one, maybe I'm just going to start off with like an empty top. And I'm just going to also quickly explain the difference on how you can make both. So I'm going to start tying my floral tape all the way from the top first. So I'm going to pull my floral tape to activate the glue. And I'm going to start tying. So wrapping my floral tape around the wire. And wherever I'm stopping is probably where I'm going to start putting my first leaf. So here. Something like that. So if let's say you do not want a sharp tape here and you want that the leaves to grow straight from the top, you can then add your leaf this way so it comes out from the top and then your floral tape will start from here so we put the leaf on and then start tying the floral tape but I'm going for a different look so I'm going to start off with the empty top first and then I'm going to put my leaf here so the idea of this is pretty much like how we do like vines on our leaves so always have a nice structure or if the wires are thick enough to form their own structure you can just keep doing the same method so putting a leaf on and then tie them together using floral tape and then go ahead and put another leaf on it. So there are different ways to do it. If you want like your lunarians to have a tighter look, you can have your uh, little leaf just growing straight out of the structure this way. And if let's say you want your lunarians to have a more floaty and every look, you can then pull out the wire and you can see with that it creates a nice uh, fluffy movement to our lunaria. Okay. Then maybe I want a fluffy one and then I'm just going to keep going. So since you're making your own Lunera, you can set your own rules as well. For me, I like my Lunera uh, leaves to be slightly distanced in different um, distance away from each other. So when I have these two uh, leaves going so close, I like to just roll my floral tape down lower. And then I'm going to add my third leaf over here. So that's how I like to play around. And you can see the movement actually really helps with the entire look of the Lunaria. Keep going. And then maybe I can add just one more here. Or maybe I can just leave it as it is. I'm going to show you how you can do another branch and then have two branches tie up together which makes like a really nice structure that you can use it for your cake design. So I'll probably just end it off here first. Okay, leave it here. And then I'm going to grab another 20 gauge wire. And I mean for the next 20 gauge wire, I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to start off my leaves maybe straight from the top this way. So something different from what we have here. So I have my floral tape. Stretch it. 
and then now I'm going to start tying from the top but now I have one of the uh, lunera leaves already living on top so tying it and then maybe I can pan it this way so for this I'm going to do something slightly different from this so you can see for this I kind of alternate the um, the positions of the leaves so I have two on here and then one on here so again you can always switch it around with, uh, however you want it but right now this is the look that I have uh, and then for this I'm going to do something different so for this I'm going to probably just work on them going on one end and I want them to just bend downwards as well because I notice most lunaria plants have their leaves going like downwards since lunarias are actually a nice element to add to your cake design, you can also go ahead and create something more like abstract so you don't have to follow the flow of how nature is. Um, and then I'm going to keep going. We're adding one more here. And then maybe now these are really close, I'm going to have one further away from it. Play around with the sizes. We have a smaller one here. I'm going to end off with just one more We have just one closer to it I'm just gonna set this aside first. I may or may not use it. So for now, you can see I have two branches. You can use them individually, or you can actually also tie them up into a new branch like this. So you can see it creates a completely different look. Ultimately, it really depends on how you wanna use it and what cake design you wanna go with. So right now, they look pretty straight and stiff. This is how a natural lunaria branch looks like. So if you are just using it to create like a, a display piece for your home or whatnot, you can keep it as it is. This is how you can tie. If you want to put them together, just go ahead with floral tape and just tie it down all the way here. If you're working on the cake design and you want it to have a nicer flow, you can then bend your wire accordingly. So go with the flow and just bend. There's no fixed way. Uh, it depends on how your design goes. So you can see how I can just flow and then this actually flows with the entire look of the, the shape of the leaf here. So this can be a very nice like elements sticking out of the cake or just hanging in front of the cake design which I'll be showing you an example later so maybe after bending you want to then tie these two together you can do that so maybe I want to have one sticking out longer than the other this way see this is a very nice flow that you can create and then right now I'm going to grab my floral tape And then wherever I'm holding them together, I can then use my floral tape and then tie them together. Okay. Then here you can then decide how long you want it and trim accordingly. So I'm just going to leave it here. And the last step will be to show you how you can dust the stems so that they also take on a shimmery uh, look, uh, just like the plants over here. Okay, so if you want your stem to have a shimmery glow to it, just like what we did for our plants, you can also then use your um, silver dust that we had just now and just go ahead and dust the stem. Okay, so close up, you can see that this is the part that's dusted and this is the part that's not dusted. So this is how you tie the entire thing together to make sure they look like one family. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start dusting the top.
So this is how you create your Lunarius or your Silver Dollar plant. When you put all of them together, they are actually really, really pretty. This is a cake design that I've done with these Lunarius. As you can see, they are simple but really makes the cake design pop. Let me know if you tried this and as usual, tag me on Instagram so I can see your works. If there's anything that you'd like to learn, type that in the comment box below and that will give me a rough idea as to what I can shoot next for you. If you like this video and have taken away something valuable from it, remember to hit the like and subscribe button for more tutorials like this and I'll see you in the next one.